Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here with another bit of Total War, Warhammer 2, quick match gameplay. This time around we are on Prague playing as the Norskins against the Greenskins. And in this matchup, I've kind of been experimenting with some stuff. I do think that Berserkers are still a decent choice for a front line. I've seen some others uh, using champions or um, sometimes even just Marauders. and uh, Having some success with it, but I've personally just been running the as the Berserker sort of... Uh, to build and um, without further ado, let's kind of just jump in and uh, see what we brought here and why. So my lord, I did bring Wolfric. Wolfric is just generally competitive. I did bring the Sword of Torque. I do think it's a solid self buff. I did bring Fighter Die, of course, Hunter of Champions because that is really one of the, his key selling points. Sea Fang, which I think is good against the Greenskins, if they don't, especially if they don't pay attention. It can melt through a lot of their squishy units, their shooting, that sort of stuff, and do immense work. And then good old fashioned Foe Seeker, which of course you know, good for that vigor, good for that extra speed. Can't be complained about. Otherwise, Wolfric's just on a horse, so nothing fancy there. Alongside him, we do have a Fimir Bale Fiend of Shadows, and like I said before, I like the Fimir Bale Fiends for the reason that they have um, Arcane Conduit, which the normal sorcerers do not. And I don't know why, I honestly think it's kind of dumb that the normal uh, shamans or shamans don't have access to Arcane Conduit, but these guys do, so that's who we brought. He does have Oakham's Mind Racer, the Withering to debuff enemy armor, Enfeebling Foe, and Melkhazma's Defy Miasma. He himself applies armor sundering. Uh, he does have From the Mist to provide missile resist and evasion to provide some additional melee defense and speed. And I really am hoping that with between the Withering and the armor debuffs from the Fimir, I'm going to be able to, if my opponent brings a whole bunch of Black Orcs, I can debuff them enough for the Berserkers to melt through them, because Black Orcs don't have very good melee defense. So if you can get rid of the armor, which is really their key pr protection, that and HP pool, then you can generally tear them to bit bits pretty easily. Alongside that, we do have a uh, front line of Marauder Berserkers, one of which is the Unbreakable Brutes of the Hound, backed by the Miststalkers as well as Fimir Warriors. I do think the Miststalkers are a very good choice in this matchup, simply because they cause fear and terror. And terror, of course is really strong against Greenskins. Otherwise, in this build, where you're not bringing any Mammoths, you don't have any access to Terror. So with this, you get some Terror in there. They've got monstrous melee stats. If your opponent brings, say, an Arachnox Plate or something like that, they can debuff it, beat it to death with their AP and uh, Armor Sundering. On the periphery, two Skin Wolves, which I think are really good against Greenskins. Uh, they'll do okay against big guns and units like that. They'll still do good amounts of damage. And you don't need the armor, really, uh, in my opinion, against most Greenskin cavalry, against units like that. And... At the same time, these guys will shred. You don't need Maws of Savagery because you don't need AP against most of the green skin calf. These guys will do just fine, in my opinion, uh, especially if you provide them with just a handful of buffs. So you can drop an Enfeebling. If your opponent brings, say, the Broken Dust Mob, you can drop an Enfeebling Foe on them and equalize that fight pretty effectively. Um, otherwise, you know, Skin Wolves are just decent. They're pretty cheap, and uh, you can throw them into the back line, disrupt enemy out shooting, that sort of stuff. Finally, we do have a unit of the Norskin Warhounds, as well as uh, Beats of Tashinar. Personally, I think, in retrospect, this was a bit of a mistake. I should probably try to get some Frost Wolves in here, rather than cramming in Chevrons and these sorts of units. I think Ice Wolves are just a better pick, but, you know, hindsight's 20, 20. Um, And uh, either way, these guys are pretty decent as well. I do think the Beats of Tashinar especially. Uh, Greenskins do struggle a little bit against these low, small units with anti-large bonuses, because the Greenskins green skin, themselves don't really have much armor, and uh, their units, like the poor boy big guns that they tend to bring with anti-large, don't can't really hit these guys consistently. For my opponent, a pretty wide green skin build, a front line composed of savage orcs. These guys will tra trade probably very effectively with berserkers, because berserkers don't have good defensive stats. These guys <coughs> have really good offensive stats, not much in the defense, so it's essentially a fight of two glass cannons. Um, and while the savage orcs will obviously lose in the long run, they will be able to do a lot of damage in a short period of time. They are backed by four Black Orcs, which are an immensely powerful sort of uh, death ball. My opponent has much stronger infantry core here, so he should be able to roll up my front line pretty effectively. Nonetheless, I do have a bunch of debuffs to deal with the Black Orcs. I do have Wolfric and uh, the Fimir, so I should have some staying power. On the periphery, my opponent has Orc Big Guns, so he's got an incredibly wide build. He's got a lot of troops. He's got three Orc Big Guns. He's got a firing line with three Orc Air Boys, or actually two Orc Air Boys, Goblin Archers, Rusty Arrows. And uh, so he's got this monstrous shooting line, so a lot of stuff I need to interdict all backed by a Goblin Great Shaman. So he hasn't bothered with, uh, with the Goblin Great Shaman. He does have a lot of mobility. He's got Evasion. He's on a Wolf. He's got Sneaky Stealing, so I'm going to have trouble casting stuff. He's got Sneaky Stabbing. He's got Itchy Nuisance, Arcane Conduit, and Wah. So he's got a full assortment of abilities, upgrades. He's going to have a trouble getting more than one, one Wah off because he can't really stay in combat. But um, a very cheap Lord who can cast support spells while he gets a massive wide sort of front. So it's definitely going to be a tough fight for me uh, because I have a very narrow front line. I'm simply... Basically, the goal here is just to pile in and try to crumb some gits as quick as we can. You can see I'm already going wide, trying to sweep around the flanks, go go in on the archers. But you can see I do push the Fimir forward. And this is because I want them soaking up the charge. Savage Orcs have a monstrous charge of 28. I want them soaking up the charge first. And um, 
you can see we were already piling in there with our uh, with our familiar Bale Fiend, we're going to dive right in. Now the Berserkers are coming in. Now, I had a bit of a mistiming here. Now, Black Orcs are going to lose a good chunk of their charge here because they're getting blocked by their friends. But I should have had my Berserkers moving a lot sooner. And the fact that I did not means that they're not in position to help right away. You can see the Black Orcs getting diced up pretty good, but definitely we're a little late on the draw. You can see the uh, Fimir Bale, or the Miststalkers there getting messed up. So, we, But we do plow in with Wolf Rake. We've got all this support, and we're doing okay on the front. You can see the Fimir Warriors, despite the late support they're getting, are doing okay. You can see in the back line, we're tearing through these archers. Um, these two units getting torn up pretty good, but the Beasts of Tashnar are forced to rout, as are the Skin Wolves. But it is forcing my opponent to kind of commit troops to deal with that. Uh, and struggling, you can see the Savage Orcs there collapsing. The Femir, uh Bale Fiends, while struggling, are still doing okay. They're crumping these Black Orcs pretty good. Uh, I've hit him with a Withering, so these guys are losing a whole bunch of armor. They're down to 50 armors, which is pitiful for Black Orcs. Same over here, and with, with their Monsters melee stats, even with Itchy Nuisance, these guys will be able to melt through the Black Orcs pretty good. Over here on the periphery, where the Savage Orcs have gotten a buff from the Wah, which is kind of equalizing the situation, they're actually doing rather well against the Marauder Berserkers, uh, but I do get a lovely rear charge in there with the Skin Wolves, and we'll start dicing them to shreds, and you can see they're immediately collapsing, uh, doing really, really poorly, and uh, the Skin Wolves just had an absolute field day. So right now, the, you can see the Bounce of Power already shifting in my favor a little bit. Definitely things are looking nice. Uh, on the periphery, you can see the Norks and Warhounds chasing these Orc Arrow Boys off, the Skin Wolves are <laughs> leading these Orcs on a merry chase, and uh, so things are looking good for the Norsk mob. Black Orcs collapsing, the Withering just lasting for so long, and making sure that these guys have basically no armor. 50 armor for Berserkers is easy peasy to cut through. Uh, and Berserkers have a bonus versus infantry to boot, if you look at them. Uh, plus 5 in bonus versus infantry, that means especially like the, the, uh, the uh, Brutes of the Hound here. Okay. Monstrous melee attack. And you can see we're just rampaging through. This front line is collapsing. Fear and terror taking hold. These guys are really struggling. Uh, we are able to get some of the skin wolves. And Wolf Freak on the Goblin Great Shaman. I hit him with a hunter of the champions. He's struggling to escape. He's trying to worm his way out. Uh, but we're beating the snot out of him. He's not really able to escape, but he does get terror out of there, unfortunately. And he is going to be able to eke his way out of there with his, with his skin. So filthy Goblin Wolf Rider there making his run. Unfortunately, my hounds are, are being interdicted. They're being stopped from pursuing some of these units off the field. We have shattered a handful of orc troops, but at the same time, my marauder berserkers are now falling into rampage, which is really pro a problem because I have no control over that. Um, you can see my opponent, he's kind of inter interdicting on the flanks. I'm chasing these savage orcs down with the beast of Tashin, or using those hounds to pur pursue my opponent where and when and where I can. The skin wolves getting mauled pretty bad. Uh, Black orcs, of course, doing a good job against them. Wolfric is here in the pits, slugging out with the goblin archers and the savage orcs. Um, Fimir and Berserkers here keep crumping through these Black Orcs. The Black Orcs are being debuffed by the Fimir. That's the main reason I'm keeping the Fimir in there. Fimir actually have pretty good melee defense. At 42, that means B Black Orcs have less than a 50% or less than a 35% chance. They've got like a 20, 30% chance to hit maybe against Fimir Warriors, which is really pretty solid. Um, so we're able to kind of grind through these uh, Black Orcs. Fimir actually have another advantage against Orcs, and that's that if your opponent brings Savage Orcs like my opponent did here, they cause magic damage. So they bypass the 30% physical resist, or maybe it's just 25%. Maybe I'm talking about my rear there. Uh, we need to find some Savage Orcs here. Savage Orcs, let me see you. Uh, only 25%, but still, they bypass that, so some really potent stuff. You can see over here the Skin Wolves tearing through the Savage Orcs. Wolf Rake is still trying to hunt this Goblin Great Shaman, but you can see this is just absolutely ridiculous. He's just not able to catch him. Goblin Great Shaman just runs past him. Wolf Rake's kind of slows the canter and can't really do very much. Um, so I decided to abandon this flank. I know the Fimir and the Berserkers are going to lose that, and I want, really want to win this flight, fight here. Uh, so that's where we're diving in. Uh, my opponent is committing, is kind of regrouping over here on the periphery. My skin wolves are not trading that well with savage orcs, especially when, once the arrows start flying. Uh, the savage orcs are not routing fast enough, so skin wolves, despite doing their, trying their darndest here, just don't melt them fast enough. And uh, I'm going to be able to force, I'm going to be forced to pull back now. Unfortunately for my opponent, though, you can see this back line is, or this flank, this right flank is collapsing. I've got all my troops um, balled up. And I still have some troops kind of who are, while well, fleeing, are going to rally. I've still got some hounds. So I'm going to be able to keep applying pressure. And you can see the balance of power is starting to shift decisively in my favor, despite the fact that my opponent still has a pretty po potent map presence. Uh, he still has these orc big guns. He still has black orcs, black orcs. Three units of black orcs, some of which are still pretty healthy. Uh, he still has some archers, though we are mopping them up. He does, you know, he still has, you know, rusty arrows here. He's got goblin archers, so the goblin fire is still around kicking. I'm trying to use, once again, trying to get a hunter of champions on this guy, trying to catch him, and Wolfrake's just not able to do it. It's, kind of frustrating. You can see the Goblin Great Shaman uh, just takes the hit there. He gets absolutely clobbered in that one char charge, but then Wolfric isn't able to reconnect, so uh, he's just going to run, and my opponent's definitely got a big edge there. You can't see a debuff going down. Uh, the Withering dropping, well, those guys, it doesn't help at all, but it's going to drop these Black Orcs once again to that 50, ar 50 armor, uh, and Sneaky Stabbing isn't going to keep him alive through that, so you can see we're able to kind of clobber these guys. These Black Orcs are found in the pits. My opponent is constantly getting distracted by Wolfric. Now, Wolfric's a, if you could snipe Wolfric, that would be great, but he's not going to be, a, Black Orcs aren't going to snipe Wolfric. But, Orc big guns are not going to snipe Wolfric. He's got 100 armor. He's got more than enough mobility, uh, decent melee stats. He's going to just run. So my opponent really needs to get his infantry here in the pits. 
crushing my Fimir, crushing my Sight of Skin Wolves, and he doesn't do it. So I get this, I get a chance to wipe these Black Orcs out, to grind them under, and that gives, that's all I needed, really, to set myself up for for now being able to deal with this front of uh, enemies. Now, you can't see the balance of power shifting decisively in my favor, but it's honestly a little odd. Mostly it's probably thanks to my hero squad that's still very strong. You can see the Fimir is still in okay shape, and Wolfric's still pretty healthy, uh, while my opponent's lord is completely crippled. But honestly, my opponent's comp here is not that weak. He still has two archers, he's still got some big guns coming back, he's still got this pack of pack of greenskin stuff here. These black orcs, despite being hit by an enfeebling foe, are still have over 3,000 HP, so very tanky. Uh, but and you can see these Black Orcs rallying, of course. The Black Orcs are pretty hard to break. They're one of those units that doesn't like the route. Uh, I do get a lovely Sea Fang here, but my opponent wasn't paying attention, annihilating so many of these Rusty Errors, um, which is really quite a big win for me. And even, even Slow Static Great Goblin Great Shaman here, who got, got caught in the uh, edge of that. My opponent completely routes the Fimir here, so they get dumpstered. You can see my Skin Wolves there routing off the field, uh, so much of my army here has completely fallen apart. Uh, but the Berserkers staying in, fighting. You can see the Black Orcs here getting debuffed constantly by the Fimir. We got Wolfric in there, sliding out. Wolfric can do a lot of damage. He's not, he's more of a duelist, but nonetheless, he'll chop through Orc Begins pretty good. You can see the, the Fimir, the Mist Talkers here, one of their huge traits, 56 melee defense. Um, even though they're exhausted, so that means their armor is a lot less valuable. With 56 melee defense, they're going to be able to tank through a lot of this damage, uh, especially as melee attack becomes less and less potent. Um, and you can see these Black Orcs just not having a good time. Wolfric dives in. I'm making sure to use Wolfric on key targets. And you can see these Black Orcs just collapsing. Um, really, the Miststalkers and their monsters' melee defense is really a lifesaver here. So we're able to route off these Black Orcs. Wars the flea. Unfortunately, uh, not, all is, not all is good. Uh, you can see the Bounce of Power still dis now decisively in my favor. But really, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, there's still some big guns rallying on the periphery. we still got Black Orcs over there. Still 10 models. Just a handful of Savage Orcs there. These Black Orcs only now just routed, but my Berserkers are near dead. They're on the last legs. I do try to throw the Skin Wolves into the fight, but they're going to get interdicted by a Hail of Fire, which is going to route one unit before he can make contact. Uh, I actually pulled the second unit clear uh, right before. The, uh, now we're diving in, though, with the uh, Mist Stalkers. So hoping to kind of mop these guys up. You can see the Rusty Arrows get dove upon. Mist Stalkers are in there. But honestly, my opponent still has a decent group here. Uh, I do get another uh, Hunter of Champions on the go uh, Goblin Great Shaman. I'm throwing Wolfric in there, getting a rear charge. My opponent's army is going to suffer army loss at this point. But honestly, this was a game that came right down to the wire. Uh, my opponent, despite a few mis mishaps on I think both player on both sides, uh, held held it together really well and still had a very potent force on the field right up to the bitter end. So, and I don't think this is a bad comp against the uh, against the Norskins either because Black Orcs. Really give you the, some good AP that, that in case your opponent brings champions. They don't break that easily to say mammoths. But they'll do some hurt to mammoths in return. They're, they're just a really good all rounder unit. They're great core infantry for, uh, <laughs> even though they probably shouldn't be, they're a great infantry to build your army around as green skins. Um, for my composition, I honestly didn't think it was too bad. I do think that lacking missiles was a big mistake in retrospect, as was lacking uh, ice wolves. Though you could see these guys raked in immense amounts of kills before getting slaughtered. Uh, Wolfric, good. I honestly wasn't I wasn't unhappy with any of these performances. I definitely think there were some serious micro mistakes I made. Um, definitely lost units for not enough gain, but in general I was fairly pleased with this comp. The Berserkers? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've seen champion use. Uh, maybe I'm using too many Berserkers. I could drop some of them, make room for some normal Marauders. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's other stuff to do. Um... As far as my opponents, but like I said, I think it was pretty competitive. I, I do think it's an interesting choice to just go with a single Goblin Great Shaman, but honestly, Norska doesn't have too many options to hunt him down. Even if you hit him with a Hunter of Champions, he's still pretty quick on his feet. He's still got like 50 plus movement speed. So, Wolfric isn't that capable of catching him, much less skin wolves work in, that sort of stuff. Uh, definitely, I think Miss Stalkers are an absolute champion unit in this build, in this uh, matchup, because they give you armor sundering, they give you fear and terror, they give you magic attacks, they give you resistance to enemy shooting. They give you monsters armor. They're just an all-arounder package that can do e give you support against anything the Greenskins bring to the table. There's no unit the Greenskins bring to the table that these guys do not have something useful to counter them with. Fimir Warriors, similar case. I actually think these guys are really good units in this matchup. I, know I might be completely off somewhere here, but I honestly do think they're absolutely solid. Um, And yeah, I, th I think that's basically it. I just think this was a pretty fun, fun game. Good game to Sir Arthur Dayton here. <laughs> Probably right down to the wire. You can see the losses were immense on both sides. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe below. If you have any comments, any criticisms, anything like that, be sure to share them, and I will respond as soon as I can. 
as usual guys i do appreciate you watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now